The issue is can the health plans come to some agreement about what that should be from the provider's perspective? Yeah. Let me go to Dick. Um, we actually been struggling with this uh, in the Cleveland or in the Cincinnati pilot, um, and one of the things that we have are some legal constraints. Uh, when the three health plans got together to, to participate in the pilot, uh, two prohibitions: you can't talk about market share and you can't talk about price. Uh, there are laws against that, uh, so we right off the bat had to make sure that we protected ourselves from that angle. Doesn't mean you can't talk about a payment methodology. And to some degree, uh, even though we have not done that, we have agreed, I guess we have done that in the sense that we've agreed to pay a PMPM. Uh, the, uh, but there are different um, variations on that theme. And I know that United takes a different approach than say does Anthem does, than does Humana in the, in the market. And I think that in some ways it is good to do that because it actually spurs on innovation among the health plans. If you stop to think about it, if we get too good at this standardization, what's to recommend one health plan over another? Uh, essentially you end up with it's uh, pretty much doesn't make any difference who you go to. So in order for health plans to remain competitive, to stay in business, to be able to, uh, to do, they have to demonstrate their service and they have to demonstrate their innovation. And those are the two main areas that health plans will have to concentrate more and more on. How can we best innovate? How can we best bring a best idea to market? Knowing full well that that best, I that best idea will probably last six months tops before it gets copied. Uh, and so you, you have to stay one, six months ahead of coming up with the best idea about how to innovate in your health plan. And I think that's a great pressure to be under from a health plan perspective. I think you get a better uh, a better system out of that because people are constantly doing that. Downside is, from the physician's perspective, is that how do you take those different variations on a theme and go to a practice and say, okay, here's how you're going to work with United, here's how you're going to work with Anthem, here's how you're going to work with Medical Mutual. So let me go to Jim. So Jim, from a provider perspective, how much do you want health plans to be competing on the way they pay providers and how much do you want them to reach some agreement on paying in the same way? I think, I think collaboration would, would be more helpful than competition because when you think about it at the level of the uh, practice patient interaction, it's very, very difficult to tease out what to do different for who based on who their payer is. So the more that the incentives are aligned to deliver the care that, the kind of care that we know delivers outcomes, I think the better off physician practices will be. Mm -hmm. Tim, from an employer's perspective, do you want to see health plans competing on the ma payment methodology they use or do you want to see them competing on other things? Uh, no, I want them to have the same payment methodology. What they do internally is what they do internally. And from my perspective, we're not going to want to see them. We're going to demand to see it out of them going forward. I mean, the, the fact of the matter is when we purchase any other commodity, be it IT equipment or whatnot, we go for the highest value with a warranty. We have not done that with healthcare. It's a significant course. We will do that with healthcare. And if push comes to shove, you know, we'll do a different model altogether. We'll directly contract. We'll do, you know, as I said, medical tourism. So. You know, as much as we would love to have one entity to work with and to truly call a partner, if we need to treat it as a vendor relationship, we will move down that path. So what that illustrates to me is the value of having a community process where everybody can come together and talk about that and say which pieces are most important to have the same and which are not so that we can reach some resolution on that and be able to move the community forward. And with that, Diana's giving me the hook, so I'm going to <laughs> sit down and uh, shut up. Thank you. Thank and you. so can the panel sit down. Thank so. you, Thank panelists you. and Harold.